sexy people, welcome back to Drink Soup. It's Simone and it's time to go a little bit crazy with three different mojitos. You're gonna try flavor that you never tried before. They are super because we're gonna put it inside out. Downside up won't be the classic mojito, it would be super special. But if you wanna see a classic mojito anyway, check Jamie making it here. Let's go, let's go crazy now. First version, rhubarb mojito. It's very simple, you get a nice jam of rhubarb. Just one spoon, put it inside of the glass. Now we get a nice fresh lime, massage the lime, express the real flavor. Let's cut it in half and we're gonna squeeze a lime inside directly the glass. We keep the shell. What shall we do with this one? Simple, we make a second one for our friends. Never waste lime, make cocktails for everybody. We simply push the jam at this moment, we get a Bacardi, Carta Blanca, 50 milliliters, is refreshing, it's super! We're gonna put some nice mint spring. Keep the stem, more flavor, much more aroma. Leave it inside like this, like a proper Cuban mojito. Two of these, push it down together. Now, let's put tiny, tiny bit of uh, soda water and let's top it up with some crushed ice, okay? Crushed ice inside. We mix everything together to make it look picturesque. A blue straw, a little bit more crushed ice and get the shell of the lime in it. And then to go even more fancy, we get a nice mint spring and make a bouquet. Okay, let's try. It's so fresh that you're gonna fly like a bird in the village of the jam. It's great. Mm. Let's make the second one now, let's go. This time, a ginger mojito. A little bit more bolder, more fuller of flavor because we use a dark rum, eight years of age. Let's do it. We get it. Fresh lime, always massage. We're gonna cut in four pieces, okay? So out with the lime, we can make two mojitos. Chug it inside. We take two teaspoons of cast sugar inside and then we need to mother it to get all the juice out of it. Mix with the sugar. And then we get it. Beautiful two mint sprig. Let's make a three. Let's be generous because it gives all the beautiful flavor. Now we we'll put the essence. Eight years old Bacardi Ocho inside the glass, 50 milliliters. Perfect amount for such a beautiful version of a mojito. The rum interact with the mint, extract all the flavor. Look at notes of wood, of oak, of vanilla because of the aging of the rum. At this point, we top it up the glass with the crushed ice. We top up as well with some. Ginger beer, all the way up. We garnish it with a straw, and then we have the beautiful fan of fresh ginger root. Anytime we sip it, we get this beautiful aroma. Let's go for it. Mm. See, it's not that different than a classic mojito, but the ginger. The dark H rum combines so well together that this is a beautiful new expression of how mojito can be interpreted. Last but not least, the caballito mojito, traditional Cuban recipe, super. First, cut it in half and we squeeze half lime directly inside of our glass. At this moment, we take some cast sugar, only one teaspoon of it, and we give it a nice stir just to dissolve it. Let's get two mint sprigs. We break it in half like this. We got the protagonist, Bacardi Carta Blanca Ram, 50 milliliters. Let's top it up with crushed ice. All the way up. And now, another special moment because we're gonna add 25 milliliters of uh, martini rosso vermouth put it slowly slowly on the top part this is very simple the caballito cocktail very classical cocktail of cuba why we put vermouth because it's a perfect combination of a refreshing drink that also works as an aperitivo let's give it a try mm. citrusy fresh balanced with a tiny bit of sugar the fresh mint the Bacardi Carta Blanca is so crispy, but then the botanicals of the vermouth. That's when the magic happened. If you want to see Jamie making another vermouth cocktail, click in here. Martini Tonic, but not in the studio, it's in Barcelona. Okay, guys, this is it. Three different style of mojito. You name it, you do it. With fresh rhubarb jam, change jam if you don't have it. You like vermouth, try this version with vermouth and fresh ginger as well. It's easy to do. Make it at home, experiment, share it. I love you. Ciao.